Hi children, how are you all? Hope you all are fine and safe at home. Welcome to AVS class children. In last class, we learned about lesson 7, your house and your clothes. So let's recall very quickly what we learned in our last class. We learned about the house, how house protects us and how like uh, we, it is protects us from the heat, cold, heavy rainfall and insects. Right, and it provides us shelter and we learned about the roof of houses. We know there are two types of roofs like flat roof and sloping roof and then we also learned about the materials used in making house. We learned about kacha house and pakka house in our last class. In this class, let's learn about the different types of houses. Okay, now let's learn about types of houses. Types of houses. The first one is hut. Hut or huts. Okay. Huts are very small houses. Huts are very small houses. Whereas the roof is made up of grass and sticks. Roof is made up of grass and sticks and walls are made up of and walls are made up of stones and mud. Stones and mud. So they are kacha house. They are not so strong. This is about huts. Understood? Understood? The second one is apartments and bungalows. Apartments. Apartments. And bungalows. are pakka houses because they are very strong and they are built using stones, cement, iron rods. And apartments are like a block houses with a tall building where we each floor will be having a separate house called apartments. Okay, these are apartments. Whereas bungalows will be a separate large house for a single family. Okay, they will be having individual rooms. Okay, a modern bungalows will be a huge, they will be having a huge living room, dining hall. So, this is of different bungalows and they will be have lawns outside and garden also. This is about apartments and bungalows. They are also called as pakka houses. The next one is tents. The third one is tents. Tents are temporary shelter. Temporary shelter. It is but tents are temporary shelters which are used make uh, used by a canvas cloth or a plastic so plastics or a canvas cloth will be used to make this tents and this is a temporary shelter understood the fourth one is igloos igloos the places where the north pole especially the area or the region will be covered with a lot of ice so the people living there will live in the houses called igloos which are made up of ice, ice bricks. Understood? This is about igloos. Huts, apartments and bungalows, tents, igloos. And the next one is, let me write it here, uh, tree house. Tree houses. So do Tree houses, when the tourists go out nowadays, tree houses are very attractive for 
tourism. So the people who, who wants to go out and spend time like uh, in the forest, they usually have tree houses to go and see there. And the people who live in forest, they also build tree houses. And tree houses especially to protect from the wild animals. Tree houses. And the sixth one, uh, I will write it here. Apartments and bungalows. Sixth one is houseboats. House boats. Especially the people living near the lakes, rivers, they use or they stay in houses like houseboats. It's very familiar in uh, Kashmir and Kerala. And many tourists will go to Kerala or to Kashmir to live in these houseboats and they also rent the houseboats okay and the houseboats will be having like living room dining hall bedroom bathroom kitchen everything will be inside the boat so it is called as houseboats okay huts are kacha houses which are not strong as it is built with stones and mud apartments and bungalows are pakka houses as it built with iron cement Iron rods, okay? Iron rods, cement, stones, etc. Tents are temporary shelters which are used, I mean the material used is to make the tents are plastic or a canvas cloth. So that is a temporary shelter. One who climbs the trees or soldiers or shepherds use these kinds of houses. It gives the people living in a uh, like north pole where the places is fully covered with ice they make the house with the ice bricks. So those houses are called as igloos. Next is tree house. The people who are living in forest or sometimes the tourists also live in tree houses. The next one is houseboats. The people living near the lakes or the rivers stay in houseboats. Types of houses. People living in different places live in different types of houses let's see the types of houses now the first one is hut a hut is a small house the roof of a hut is made up of grass and sticks the walls are made of stones and mud these houses are not very strong such houses are called kacha houses the next one is bungalows and apartments a bungalow is a large house with many rooms. An apartment is a block with a tall building with many separate houses. Apartments and bungalows are usually seen in cities and towns. These houses are strong and they are called pakka houses. Tents Tents are Temporary shelters made of canvas, cloth or plastic. These are used by people who move from place to place like soldiers, shepherds and people who climb mountains use tents. Igloos The North Pole remains covered with ice all the time. People living near the North Pole live in houses built of ice called igloos. The next type of house is a tree houses. People who live close to a forest built homes on trees. Such houses were made of wood and grass. A tree house protects people from wild animals and nowadays tree houses are attracting tourists also children and the next type of house is houseboats houseboats are very famous in kashmir and kerala some people who live near lakes or rivers live in houseboats houseboats are made of wood and they float on water they have living rooms, bedrooms, kitchen and bathrooms. Understood right children? We finished with 
houses, your houses. Now let's check out about clothes. Okay. The next one is clothes. Clothes protects. Protects us from heat, cold, rain, and dust. Understood? Clothes protect us from heat, cold, rain, and dust. And we wear different kinds of dresses according to different kinds of seasons. Let's see what are those. Understood, right children? Clothes protect us from heat, cold, rain, and dust. And we also wear different kind of dresses according to the seasons. Okay? Now let's see the seasons and types of clothes we wear. Now let me write the first seasons. Seasons and clothes what we wear in the same season. Right? So, season, clothes. First, summer. In summer season, we usually wear cotton clothes. We usually wear cotton clothes. The next one is rainy season. In rainy season, it's very good to wear synthetic. S Y N T H E T I C. So, why it is very good to wear synthetic? Because it dries very quickly. So, in rainy season, we use synthetic cloth. The next one is winter. In winter, we wear woolen clothes. So, woolen clothes because it keeps us warm. Clear? Summer, cotton, rainy, synthetic, winter, woolen clothes. Clear children? So, this is about our clothes. Now, I think it's clear about the seasons and types of clothes we wear during the season. Summer, cotton, Rainy season, synthetic, winter, woolen, so which keeps us warm and protects us from the cold. Clear? Yes. So in this lesson, we learned about your house and your clothes. We learned about the different materials used in construction of houses and what is pakka house and kacha house. And we learned about different kinds of houses. In clothes, we learned about the different seasons and the type or kind of dresses we wear in that season. Hope you all enjoyed the lesson children. Meet you all in the next class. Until then, take care.